Good morning. Today is January 5th, maybe? I probably should have looked. Um, anyway, my, uh, my name is Kendra, and I'm going to show you some Sumo Citrus. Have you ever seen these at the store? They have a top knot on them here. They all come with a top knot, some bigger than others. And they are a hybrid between a mandarin and a satsuma. And they were first, um, I don't know if you call bread, but invented or whatever in Japan. And apparently it takes four years to grow a tree from planting to producing fruit. And they're very, very delicate of water, handling, sun, you know, all of that. Um, I hear now that you can uh, get them grown in other places, uh, California and Australia. I, I This is the first I'd heard of that. I thought they only came from California. So um, the good news is it's the season. The season lasts January to April when you can get them in the grocery store shelves. Um, they're you know, when something comes in season, it, to me it always seems like no matter what it is, um, it's best in the middle of the season. Like when you first get the season, they might be a little small, they might be a little not so good, they're okay. And at the end of the season when they're, they're all wearing out, they're, you know, like not as green as they could be. I mean, not as green, not as ripe as they could be, maybe a little green, whatever. So right now is the very beginning of the season, and these aren't the very best you'll find in color or texture or taste, but they are good enough. Um, the peak season is going to be the end of February, early March in here in the United States. I don't know anything about where you're getting them um, in, you know, Japan and, and Australia, apparently. So anyway, the good thing about these is they're a low acid citrus. So if you are um, sensitive to acid, um, like it bothers your mouth or your belly or whatever, that's uh, a good news for you. But it's uh, nutritionally the same as a, um, you know, a regular satsuma or a regular mandarin, whatever. This is just the hybrid of both. They're non-GMO, so you don't have to worry about that and they're um, available. My dog may lose his mind any minute now. There's a squirrel. I threw nuts out there, and uh, he just is looking. He hears it, but he doesn't see it. I, he, I don't know what his deal is. He sees it now. Okay, so anyway, um, these peel like, um, you know, the easy peels, the cuties, they peel like that. So, um, oh, okay, I, no, no ma'am, that's enough. I meant sir. The bad news is uh, these are expensive. So four ninety nine a pound. Um, my son picked these up for me. He works at the store. Oops, just just gave all that information. Anyway, um, the total was what was it? Nineteen dollars and seventy seven cents, and I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I got seven of them. And I'm trying to think of it as this is whole wonderful nutrition. I have paid, you know, six, seven dollars a piece for a coffee drink. So, you know, in the grand scheme of things, it's okay. Um, let's see what else I want to tell you about them. Um, there's only 100 farmers, apparently, in a region of Japan that, that do these, and they guarded them for the longest time. You couldn't even export them out of the country. Um, Let's see. Oh, they, like I said, they're the same in nutritional value, but they're a little bit higher in fiber. But I was reading that the reason that they're a little bit higher in fiber is they're pretty large. And so they consider, I guess, a, one fruit would be a serving. I didn't look up the calories, but I should. I think if you're eating fruit, no, no, please don't. If you're eating fruit, you would um, want to remember that it is full of fiber and vitamin C and goodness, you know, and it's not like you're having fried chicken, which is, you know, it's full of protein, but it's still a lot of other stuff. So anyway, I wanted to show you how this peels. So, okay, I think it cut off when I was trying to um, show you how they peel, and I wanted to do this real quick before it cuts off again. Um, I can tell you that the beginning of the season, one that I just finished eating was delicious. I don't know what's wrong with my camera, but anyway, you pop off the top knot just like that, all in one piece. 
this is what you're left with. Now it's going to peel like a cutie, just really thick, thick um, peeling. Go like this. The smell that comes off of this is just incredible. It reminds me of um, old school vintage tangerines. Like I don't smell that smell anymore in, you know, today's fruit like I did when I was a kid. Um, and I don't know why that is. Uh, let's see. So here you go. So I know that um, it's not as good because you can't smell it or see it. But these are just incredibly juicy and wonderful. And even if you think, you know, there's no way you're going to pay that, and I understand that, you should at least try one maybe and hide with it. Don't share it with the kids. <laughs> Give the kids a cookie. They'll be fine. These are amazing. I'm going to, since I already ate one, I'm going to put these pieces on a plate and take them into the other room where one of my kids is telecommuting, and then I'm let him have it. Oh, great. Here's the view. My vacuum cleaner <laughs> and all the paperwork. Um, crazy. So, mm, that smells good. Again, you should try this. You are going to love it. I, I wanted to say also um, that tonight's dinner, per my um, menu board, which I tried to set up here and dropped again. It just fell over because I propped it up with fruit. <laughs> Oh man, it's not long for this world. I only bought it like just around Christmas time because I loved it. But anyway, um, today's menu plan is um, uh, what are they called? They are called pork egg rolls in a bowl with rice. So that's what I'm going to do. Also, I'm also going to serve some um, pineapple with that. And um, I think that's it. I tried to do a grocery haul yesterday. It didn't work out. It was late. Half the stuff was missing. I was frustrated and tired, and so I just said, eh, why throw that at you guys? <laughs> I just erased it. It was awful. Um, so I think I'll probably go out later in the week and do shopping myself. The problem is there's not a lot of stuff being had right now. A lot of the shelves, the um, Instacart shopper showed me pictures, and um, a lot of shelves are empty. And I think it's partly due to the time we're in with, you know, supplies not being delivered. And a lot of it probably has to do with our snow is just now finally going away. And they say we may have more tomorrow, but please no. I want to go out on Friday. The dogs have an appointment with the groomer on Friday and get their hair done. <laughs> Isn't that special? And um, then I can, while they're doing that, use that as free daycare. <laughs> I can go in the grocery store and look at things myself. There's some things I want to check out and see. I want to get some storage containers, you know, stuff like that, so I can do some organizing, especially with pantry and under the sinks and stuff like that. And um, the rest of the day, I'm going to be um, doing placenta encapsulation. I've got that going, and um, and to drop it off to the mom. Thursday or Friday, I'm not sure which. I can just do that. Just It's not a big deal to drop off. I can't go in the grocery store unless the dogs are being tended to. Because when I leave, they cry their heads off. They boo-hoo and howl, literally, with their noses up to the ceiling, howl if I leave them. And it doesn't matter that there are other people in the house. They want mama. So think about that when you get yourself a dog. <laughs> Anyway, if you um, if you would be so kind, I would love it if you gave me a thumbs up or um, subscribe if you haven't subscribed. There's a little bell there, and it'll let you know whenever there's new videos that come up or vlogs or whatever you call them. What is the difference between a video and a vlog? Hmm, so much to learn. <laughs> um, I should show you the snow. It's I mean, what's left of it? Let me turn you around. I don't know if you can see it, but there's not a lot left. So, hope you have a good day. Today is Wednesday. Is it Wednesday or Thursday? I am so sorry. I don't, I'm lost. I don't know what day it even is. I, I think it's Wednesday. Have a good day. Bye-bye.